Hello and welcome. Today is going to be kind of a quick video. I'm just going to show you guys how you can use uCenter directly through your APM uh, CX20 or your APM 2.6, 2.8 stuff. For the CX20 guys, just uh, you don't have to open up the shell or anything like that. Just simply plug your USB cable underneath your quadcopter. In my package here, I included uh, firmware for the uh, factory firmware for the CX-23.12 just in case you guys want to go back to it after you use my firmware right there. So I'm just going to jump right into this now and I'm just going to show you guys using it with the uh, APM 2.8 but it's exactly the same process with the uh, CX-20. So just leave everything connected to your APM and uh, plug in the USB. You can unplug things if you want, it's up to you, but you don't have to. So open up Mission Planner and set your COM port to whatever was detected and then 11.5200 for your baud rate. Go to Initial Setup. Go to Install Firmware. If you don't see load custom firmware, you have to go to um, config configuration, planner, and set layout to advance. So go back to initial setup again. This part here you can actually cancel if it wants to be canceled. All right, click on load custom firmware and click on GPS APM U Center. Okay, once that's done, you can close down Mission Planner. Download U Center from their webpage or I'll also include it in the package, at least the version that's newest for today or whatever. If you want to download it yourself, just go to ublocks.com and it's under evaluation software. I'll include a link in my description and then just click on whichever version you need for it. So for mine it would be Windows. And then just download uh, version 8.29 or whichever one's newest. Once it's installed, click on the uCenter. It might auto detect the GPS right away. If it doesn't, go to tools or go to receiver, port, set it to your port, and then go to baud rate and make sure it's set to 9600. After that, things should start uh, populating. And then here, just do whatever you want. So you can go to uh, sky view, see statistics, statistics, map view, Or whatever you want to do so that's basically it for the whole video I just wanted to show you you can use this directly through the APM the interesting thing I found here is here it says U blocks m88 for this guy here if I disconnect it and plug in the BS version if I plug in the BS880, that's supposed to be exactly the same as the BN880. I tried to plug my USB in there. So anyways, plug this guy in. I think I got scammed. So I'm going to connect to this guy. And then watch what it changes to here. So I don't know if it really is a U-Block 7. I haven't bothered opening up this shell yet. I'm just kind of disappointed that I might have got scammed. You can kind of tell because if it, I might not get these satellites here. So it's really possible that under this chip it is actually just a U Block 7, which most likely it is, I guess, or it's a really bad clone. Either or, I just wanted to show you guys that the BS880. There's something fishy with that guy or whatever. All right, so once you're done with the uh, U-Center, 
just close it down or disconnect from it. Go back into Mission Planner. So for this, choose the COM port it's on and make sure it's set to 115200. Go to Initial Setup, Install Firmware. Now if you're a CX-20 person with the original APM and you want to go back to the factory, just wait till this is done. Click on Load Custom Firmware and then uh, go into my package and install the factory firmware and you'll be back to factory. If you just want to put your APM back, you should know how to do it anyways. Just simply click on the newest one here or whatever thing you were on before. I'm just going to click on this. It'll auto detect the APM and put whatever version is supposed to be on it. Mine is uh, 3.2 or 3.2.1. 3 Right, so once it's done, you can connect back to it just to confirm everything works. And you can back up your parameters if you want to, but if you go to uh, initial setup and mandatory, whoops, where's flight modes? Here you can see your parameters held in place, so everything should be fine. And then uh, everything's working again. All right, guys. So if you run into any problems, just hit me up in the comments. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe. And that's all. Bye.